People in the neighborhood call it the school for the deaf. We found it when we are given an assignment to make a short film near our school. Before shooting, we had to first get to know the people and some basics of sign language, their main way of communication. Uganda Society for the Deaf Vocation Training Center was started by Uganda Society for the Deaf. This is an NGO that is responsible of the education and welfare of the deaf child in this country. There are many cases that bring deafness to our children. If not through the genes, then it has to, to be through the um, illness, like uh, high malaria, uh, like uh, MAPS, uh, meningitis, measles, and of recent now we have received cases of gunshots from the north. The majority of the students here have never heard. This does not mean that they don't have voices. But since they have never heard, they could not learn how to speak. That makes communication between them and the hearing people their biggest challenge. The sign language alphabet is taught to all new students. In most cases, it is done by fellow students. Joan is one of them. After learning sign language, students are taught normal school subjects, like math, chemistry, biology, physics, and others. Additional to the theoretical subjects, practical lessons with hands-on training are given, like in carpentry and joinery, cutting and tailoring, bricklaying and concrete practice, food processing and catering. The acquired skills help them to be job creators rather than job seekers. We asked ourselves, can these wonderful opportunities be for free? This one is a private vocational training center, which means that it must be financed through school fees payment. And this school fees payment is either done by parents, those that have produced the children, or sometimes, but most courses. And anyway, this is now the majority, the majority of our students are being supported by NGOs. It may be like that because, you know, sign language has different gestures. I might know mine as a good sign language, but even themselves, they have different views about sign language. They can guess here that ordinary sign language they have learned. And as they come from different training units for primary, you find that they have a challenge that when they come here, they have to be uniform sign language which they teach them. So you find that if you tell them the sign language which is national, they tend to get lost. So that's why they say when a teacher explains like this, sometimes you don't understand, maybe he might be using his own sign language, which is not the case.
After lunch, students like to socialize. That includes discussing about their challenges and problems. One of the problems is they fear the prejudice of the hearing people. These students, you know, they have a, a tendency of hating hearing adults. So they believe that uh, when you talk, their first insight is you are backbiting them. So now that is the challenge I face. You cannot interact with your fellow person who hears. Yeah, every time you feel like you're interacting with the deaf students only. We found out that students help one another to understand the content of the lessons. And we learned they feel better amongst themselves. In different groups, they discuss politics, soccer, and they talk about their future and dreams. So my future plan for them is to sit a national exam which is recognized by the Ministry of Education and Sports. So either they, they can give them a chance to upgrade or to go to any tertiary institution of learning. The making of this film brought us a lot closer to neighbors we did not know much before. It enriched us and it made us understand their situation, emotions and their dreams.